Hi, welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. This is a Lightroom 4 video tutorial. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do many uh, photography type videos, uh, anything from on location videos to just simple how to videos, and I do a lot of Photoshop Elements tutorials. We're going to go ahead today, though, and I'm going to introduce you here to how to download pictures from your memory card into the new Lightroom 4. We're going to see if it's any different procedure than what we had before with Lightroom 3. So we're going to go ahead first and we're going to stick this uh, card into our computer. Okay, we're just going to put that into our card reader, just like that. Pretty much you'll notice right away that Lightroom 4, the interface to uh, copy or download the pictures from our disk, is pretty much the same as it was in Lightroom 3. So what we're looking at here is the source, or where we're looking at it, we're looking at it from my Nikon D7000 uh, memory disk. And we're going to scroll down here to the new pictures that I took today. And as you can see, I was actually working on some macro stuff, just playing around a little bit with my lens outside. It's a beautiful day today. And we're going to go ahead and copy these pictures from my disk over into my Lightroom 4. Now what's also interesting to note if you've never used Lightroom before is that up here the pictures that are grayed out are pictures that's already imported into or onto my hard drive. Now we have the pictures down here selected that are not on. And what I want to do here is unselect the pictures I don't want to copy at this time. And we'll just select, take all these off here. Again, we're just unchecking the ones we do not want to copy. Now over here, what I like to do is on this side where it says file handling, where it's getting copied to, I always have pictures selected because I want everything under my pictures folder. Now this happens to be on my Mac, but it's going to be the same thing on your Windows computer. And you can put this into a subfolder, and we'll just call this Macros. I like to put a 1 after it, because I'll probably be shooting more Macros anyway. And we're going to organize these into one folder. Once that's done, all we have to do is click on Import. One thing to be noted at the top here, though, before we do this, there's a couple other things we can look at here, just so you're, you're familiar with this. Don't import suspected duplicates. You don't want a bunch of duplicates on your hard drive. If we pull this little thing down here, we can actually do file renaming. And when I do weddings, I do a lot of renaming because I either rename my pictures uh, wedding or reception. That's how I normally rename the pictures when they're pulling them in for the file names. Shut that off. Apply during import. There's some developer settings we can pick. These are our presets. Uh, and you may have actually built some of your own presets in Lightroom. If not, uh, go back. I have a video on how to create a preset. Metadata. You can actually put metadata on to every picture you import. So if we click on New, this is all of the stuff we can actually embed into the picture itself as they're being imported. Now, this is very nice because it, it's very good because of um, licensing. Um concerns with people downloading your pictures from the internet so I can put uh, copyrighted oh. memories by Jack so it's copyrighted every picture I want to import is copyrighted to me copyright status we're just going to say copyrighted you can put terms, you can put a copyright URL if you uh, want to do that, but there is a ton of stuff in here we can work with. Uh, IPTC creator, uh, so that's uh, your information could be here. The image, the date it's created and everything could be there. You just have tons and you can read through all this. I'm not going to bore you with reading through that. So once we have this done, if you want to put any keywords in here, we can. M-A-C-R-O-S. I'll put macros in there as a keyword because all those pictures are macro pictures. And once you have it done, just simply click on import. And we're going to go ahead and start importing those pictures. 
And as you can see here, there's already a tag on there because we're putting a keyword tag on it as macros. And as it's importing, it's doing that. It's also writing our metadata to it. So that's really nice that that information is already embedded into that picture. And once you have it done, you'll notice right away that the actual downloader went away. Now, the thing with, um, if you're using iPhoto, if you're using a Mac, uh, when the pictures are imported, they all go into that folder, the uh, iPhoto library, and everything gets kind of buried in there. This is nice now because if I go want to copy these off of my hard drive, I go to pictures, and I'll just go down here to macros, macro ones. Here's the pictures I just imported right here. So this is everything I just imported. So it's really easy to find those again. It makes it really, really handy and really nice. Okay, so that is how you import your pictures into Lightroom 4. Again, very much the same as Lightroom 3. I don't see uh, much difference uh, about it. So hopefully this video helped you out if you were curious or had any questions about Lightroom 4 importing. You're like, is it the same? I wonder what would be lost. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And uh, your pictures are now in there. And we also, like I said, we already have a tag on for macro, and then we can go on from there and do more with uh, starring them and putting them in more into uh, catalogs and getting them more set up that way. So. so hopefully you've enjoyed this particular video on Lightroom 4, how to uh, import your pictures. And if you would like to learn more about Photoshop Elements, I have a whole learning series on Photoshop Elements on my website. Go to jackstechcorner.com, all one word jackstechcorner.com. I'll put it right here. I'll write it right on this video. You'll see it now. And check out those DVDs. Uh, the best bargain on there is the four DVD set. Uh, a lot of people looked at the shipping, I think, right now um, and seen that the shipping prices, normally, uh, if you've watched any of my past videos, it would say uh, $2 shipping. But now I believe it's three or three and a half, but that's the postage. Yeah, I didn't do that. The United States Postal Service did that. They raised the rates and... and no, I just I can't pay that extra for the postage uh, from the little bit that I've actually made from the DVDs. But the DVD sales do help these shows and helps me to keep reproducing this stuff and getting the equipment I need to put that on. So thank you very much for watching this video of Lightroom 4 importing. And I hope to see you back here next time for another video tutorial right here on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.